I've got a mission for you, bud. I've got a small town I want you to check out. You know, I'm busy here with my dental practice and diners, drive-ins, and dives. So what I'd like you to do is compile the bike club. Welcome back. That was a clip from a new Food Network show where Guy Fieri assembles a team of fun loving foodies to find the best bite in town. Joining us now from the host uh, from uh, joining us now from the show and host of Carnival Eats, Noah Cap. <laughs> I love it. All right, so I wanted a disguise for this one, but I didn't get it. Guy Fieri puts on disguises in the show, but his everyday look is pretty recognizable. So I wanted to ask you, Noah, which costume was the best costume for you? Uh, I mean, I, I, there's no way I'm going to ruin all the surprises. I think it's uh, one of my favorite things about the show is that the tone, like, right out of the gate. Each episode starts with one of the these quirky little scenes where I'm like living my life and he just pops up. Uh, I did post <laughs> one from uh, the sneak peek where he's the crossing guard and it's just uh, that one killed me. Oh, yeah. I think the coolest thing about Guy is every time I've heard somebody talk about him, everybody said he's the best guy ever. So I have to ask you, how did you first meet him? Uh, you know, uh, I was making a sandwich like right at this counter and my phone rang and I didn't answer it as I often don't. And uh, I picked up the voicemail and it was him. And uh, that moment was as, I mean, I still have the voicemail saved. It was uh, being a foodie, being a person who had logged so many hours on the sofa watching Triple D marathons, uh, to hear his voice saying, I'm a fan of Carnival Eats and I wanted to reach out to ask you to be a judge on Triple G on Guy's Grocery Games. It was like an unbelievable moment. And I went out and we just connected. I think a friendship, a respect, uh, we just kind of clicked. And over the years that grew and when this opportunity came up and he offered me the chance to be a part of such an epic, epic franchise uh, in so many ways. It was like really as cheesy as it is. It's like a dream come true. Yeah. No, that's awesome. You're walking in your purpose. Exactly. So, <laughs> this food is that what is, that is? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the alignment. It's the alignment. So this food is a little more sophisticated than what you usually eat on Carnival Eats. So did you ever find yourself wishing they would just deep fry more stuff? <laughs> Uh, I think my body's okay with the break. Okay. I think, uh, you know, I'm still filming Carnival Leagues. I'm actually leaving uh, tomorrow to, uh, to uh, we're filming season 11 right now. Ooh. So the, uh, the bacon wrapped Twinkies are still getting deep fried <laughs> and I'll still be sharing those, don't worry. Um, it, it is nice though. I mean, I know Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives, even that brand, focuses on a certain style of food this this opens it up because we're spending the entire episode in one city or in one town uh you kind of get a, a chance to see a variety of different levels of food so there's something for everybody i just keep thinking about like him on the plane sitting next to a businessman that's got to go to some boring accounting right, conference right. he's like i'm gonna go try and eat this carnival out of business <laughs> like you have a much better gig yeah. than you a lot win. of people you win you yeah. win yeah, your gig is sweet, man. I, I love it. I'm envious of you. But speaking of Carnival Eats, <laughs> look, it's been going strong for a decade, like you said, season, season 11 coming up. But you got to eat some weird stuff. So I want to know, what's the weirdest thing you ever ate at one of these carnivals? I mean, we've cracked a thousand something foods now. It's uh, it's hard to believe I'm... Uh, yeah, uh, season one, I think the show was still trying to figure out, you know, what what we were and what types of foods we were we were uh, focusing on. And I did some weird things in those early seasons. We did deep fried rattlesnake, oh, and uh, Ew. if there's kids in the room, take them out for this story. Uh, I got into the kitchen with the vendor, and they had, uh, you know, head, tail, gone, skinned, ready to go in a bowl. But if oh. you shook the bowl, like 20, 30 minutes later, oh, no. it would it no. would move. No. Oh, no. The muscles. Yeah, like, like snake move. <sighs> Yeah, I've, I've done that too. You cut, we had to hunt them and then, no, you know. No, I don't oh. want to hear it. Yeah, oh I, get, I know what you're saying gosh. with the moves, yeah. Speaking of strange yeah. fair food, is there any kind of fair food that you do not like and you won't even eat? Uh, I mean, maybe there's been one food in the history of the show that Tell I us. said to the production team. Uh, it was pig's feet. It was oh. stuffed pig's feet. And I was like... Uh, you know, is this something that other people even want to eat? Like, do they even want to know what it tastes like? Right. Or do we just have to kind of let this be for the people who are like caught in the woods and need to survive? <laughs> uh, 
that one, uh, luckily the vendor at the last second had a conflict and it never happened. Destiny stepped in that day. Nice. <laughs> My gosh, I heard it was olives, but we're going to have to have you on again to hear about uh -oh. your... Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I love you. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh. I, oh, do you? There's a clip floating around of uh, the only food that ever left my mouth after it went in on the show was blue cheese stuffed olives. Got it. Uh, I, Guy has this thing with eggs. Uh, mine is olives. I don't know huh. why. Hmm. Um, yeah. All right. Now I want a I dirty say, martini. Yeah. Yeah. I know. We can eat a uh, boa constrictor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Some sort of yeah, a snake, but not olives. <laughs> Noah, thank you so much. What a pleasure having you here. DBL Nation, catch the premiere of Best Bite in Town this Friday at 9 p.m. on the Food Network. Thank you again. We'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thank you.